time so in timer we have other options using event wait and event raise also we can schedule the sessions like using repository using this timer and using event wait also we can schedule so first see here we have one source and one session here we have one more session two sessions we have so in between we created one timer okay in timer we have two options like absolute time and relative time so when you are selecting absolute time based on that time the second session will run okay we have one more option relative time so from start time of the task start time of the task this is the main task so when the first session start time the second session execution will depend okay the start time of the task after starting time of the first task after one day or one hour after 10 minutes like this we can mention or from the workflow workflow start time so here we have workflow this is the task this is the timer and this is the dependent session so first option start time of this task and second option start time of workflow or work lit and the last one top level workflow when you are using worklets we will get top level workflows and worklets options so at that time you can select this option so based on these three options any one of the option we can select based on the requirement after start time of the task after one day or one hour two hours one minute or ten minutes we can mention so this is the relative term it's depend on other task or workflow execution the absolute time it will not depend on any other task or execution automatically it will start this session execution when schedule time is happen okay so this is one thing and we can use the timer for event wait so event wait in event wait we have some options so here we have file watch event so it will wait here I am creating one file new dot temp dot txt okay so for example this temp dot txt is a file we are using this file as a source in the session so this is the source in the session so we are checking whether this file is available or not in the source location because this is the source for the session when this file is available then only we can execute the session so we need to confirm this file is available or not in particular path okay in some projects we are getting daily updates at set of time in the day for example you are getting a file daily status file every day 10 o'clock in the morning okay automatically a new file is creating every day 10 o'clock in the particular location particular path so when the file is ready then only we are starting that execution of the session so if it is file is not present the execution will fail that's why we are watching file is available or not so you are expecting time is you are expecting time is 10 o'clock at every day same time but if any of the reasons if the file is not available at 10 o'clock so you have to wait another half an hour to check the file is available or not okay so at that time you can use the timer whether the file is available or not to check that thing you can wait up to 1030 so here first create event wait
then timer timer absolute time it's 10 23 okay save it and workflow start workflow so execution started event wait waiting for the file still it's running I'm creating temp.txt in C location. Create a new folder here. Not required. Direct text document also you can create because we mentioned temp.txt. Okay. File created. Event wait succeeded because we created that file and timer is running. Still, it is waiting for the scheduled time 4.23. Okay. So, here when the file is available, then it will finish the execution of event wait. Even if the file is not ready, the timer will wait to, to reach that scheduled time 4.23. So, when it reached the 4.23, then only it will start the execution of the session. So, like this, we can use to check file is available or not using event wait and we can schedule to wait event wait and timer using this two we can schedule the session okay so still it's 422 so 423 that is the schedule time then the session will execute So 4.23, so session execution started, it's completed. So like this, we can watch the file. One more option we have in events, event wait and event raise also. One more thing, when we are using event raise, user defined events we are creating. Using that user defined events, we can use event wait and event raise for internal scheduling in the sessions okay thank you